Hello, my name is Martin Tett and I'm leader of Buckinghamshire County Council. Last November, when the Secretary of State for Communities and Local Government made his announcement on the changes to local government in Buckinghamshire, I made a commitment to keep you updated on developments. So, what do we know now that we didn't know back in November? Well, first of all, the name of the new council will be the Buckinghamshire Council, pretty sensible in my book. Secondly, it will have 147 members. Now that compares with the current 49 members that we have for the County Council and the proposal we put forward for 98 members, but that's the government's decision. The 147 members will be elected at a new election to take place in May 2020, that's just over a year's time, and that new council will then elect its new leader and its new cabinet to set the direction, strategy and policy for the new council thereafter. The local elections that were planned for district colleagues and for town and parish councils this year in May 2019 have now been postponed until next year. So how are we going to go about creating this new council? Well at the beginning of January the government reached a decision. First of all, there's going to be a new temporary shadow authority created. That will comprise all of the existing councillors drawn from existing district councils and the county council. In total, something like 204 individual members. There'll also be a shadow executive, and that will be putting together all the day-to-day -day details required to create the new council. That will comprise eight members from the district councils and eight members from the county council and it will be chaired by the leader of the County Council. What's very important is that that will draw together the experience and expertise from all the councils in Buckinghamshire to make sure we have a rich contribution from the heritage of everybody who will be contributing to this new council. Very recently, the County Council announced its nominees and also uh, eight deputies or substitutes for those members. And I've made sure that from the County Council point of view, 11 of the 16 people that we've nominated also are what's called twin hatters. In other words, they're also district councillors to make sure that the districts are really well represented on the new shadow executive. So where are we now? Well, many of you may have read in the local papers or heard on the radio or television that a legal challenge has been instigated by some of our district councils. Now, obviously, I'm very disappointed by this. Um, I hope we can all work together to create what I think should be the really best council in the country on behalf of our residents, but I completely accept that that's the right of the district councils concerned to instigate this judicial review. I'm convinced that if we all work together in the way that the Secretary of State has decided, we can create a new council that is simpler for our residents to actually access and understand who does what, one that is stronger to represent the interests of our residents and our businesses, particularly when dealing with central government. One that's more local, one that actually is operating locally and is easier actually to access for residents. And actually better value, because one of the things that's really important is that we cut out a lot of the waste and duplication that currently exists, so that residents, when they pay their council tax, know that every penny is being spent on essential services delivering for them.